Here we are again in a lovely day in Texas at Chad and Susie Chance's place at Hoofwatch, who's partnering up to make a few of these WCV videos for all the contests we have throughout the year. And the one that we picked today was the front uh, tool and fullered shoe that's got some frost heels on them. And frost heels, I'm sure, are heels that stick up, get them in the ground, but got a hunter cut that goes with the slope of the buttress. The profile of this shoe is obvious to have it go with the buttress, be safed off, and a bob punch toe clip. Gonna start with 5A square. Pretty easily be able to make me a five by five shoe out of nine and a half inches because a lot's gonna go into the heels. All right, I'm just gonna get me some material. I'm pushing this right in front of the block. There we go. We've got 5A square, but right in front of the heel, you've got about three quarters of an inch because you have a dead stop fullering. You have full width. So you have to have some material to make everything come out to the front of that, to that frost heel. You have to have length to where when you cut the heel down, you can make an angle cut and you still have a base on it. You want to have the front of the heel cock leaning back, like a bad heel cock, leaning it back so that you can get the edge of the block in there for your half blow with your striker. That way when you clean up with your file to the edges, it makes a nice clean corner and you don't have this wrinkle in the front that keeps your file from getting to the back edge. All right, we're gonna start with a half blow. Narrow that stock up a little bit right here on the corner. And then come in. All right, you gotta have a long back on it so that when you chisel through it, you still have a top on it. Otherwise, you have to start the top too far into the, the front, so. You can see I've got the angle on the, the heel. I've still got some top on it, and now all I gotta do is blend those two corners together. All right, so I'll put my hunter heel on there. I'm blending that outside, and I'll get the other side. You'd want to have half your shoe done as far as run through the block. So you make your heel in one and press it through the block, rasp it up and, and get it pretty close to having a nice a tapered cut on it. And you can finish that taper. If you were to fit it, you'd bring it back to where the burn was. I mushroom this out in the front to start getting the width. You can see I've got plenty of height. You can see I, I push out the sides. That's where I need all that meat to, to lock into the edge of the block.
So I'm trying to make both the medial and the lateral aspect of the heels identical. I'm trying to get that line to come down through the center of the heel. You can see it's a little bit inside of center, but by the time we turn the heel and everything, this is my top line, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuller just on the inside edge of the top line. You can see this bubble right here. Just gonna fuller right in the, the inside edge of that. As you can see, I'm just on the inside edge of my top of my peak. Just kind of push that heel out a little bit. Knees up a little bit. Perfect. We'll head stamp it. Line up your heels. Kind of just cleaning up the edges. Oh, yeah. Now do the same to the other side. All right, so take our calipers. Put the mark in the center for the bob punch. And I'm gonna lean it and push it out. All right, then I'm gonna come in here. I've got a nice lip. You're gonna come in here with your hammer with the clip and then 
you can just kind of push this edge back down with the edge of your hammer, and if you accidentally hit, it'll just shove your hammer to the bottom so you won't smash your clip. Because I think what you're trying to do is not wreck your rim. I try and keep everything outside the rim, so now I'll just take a cleanup heat on both sides and, and file and get all these lines filed up. I would come here, line up my heel nail, and go away from it and just put a nice radius all the way through there. Come in here for my heel nail and swing it all the way around. All right, we're gonna just kind of bring it, the wide part of the horn all the way around to get some flow into the shoe. And everything stems off of that heel nail. Then you're gonna, the heel nail, you're gonna go away from it. Take the top off of it. And then just kind of bring the pile up to the line. This is to just clean up heat. We're putting the top edge on it. Just you file it all up, and then the fuller the last goes in, it makes you just a nice top line on it. I think we're good.